So we're going to talk a little bit about fixed infrared applications and uh, show you some pictures and kind of briefly describe what's going on here. So this is an image of a um, molten steel being poured into a casting area and it's uh, being cast into uh, a, uh, like a beam that they will uh, do something with later uh, for storage purposes. This is what's called hot rolling. The molten steel is poured out of buckets above and comes down a channel into a, an area that makes it into like a, a board. And as it rolls on, uh, they're compressing it. There's uh, rollers that compress it in the different thicknesses based on maybe an order of someone's place for beams for a building, or they can go down from 10 or 12 inches in thickness all the way down to like an inch thick if they need to. This is a, uh, a application or process called coal mill. It's uh, kind of a misnomer because it's still a very hot application, but at a lower temperature than the ones you previously saw. This, they're uh, heating it, the steel enough that they can continue to compress it down, even down to very thin sheets, which they put on a roll. Sometimes those sheets and that roll are very reflective. If so, then you cannot get a good reading with an infrared thermometer. But if it's flat, like a lot of them are a flat surface, non-reflective, then you can get a good reading with an infrared thermometer. This is a, a casting process or molding process where they're pouring molds and brass into molds. The temperature has to be maintained hot enough that when the liquid brass hits those molds, it doesn't cool so fast that the mold does not get filled up. There's no air gaps or pockets left in it. This is a casting process of molten steel. They've got molds there that they're casting. Could be like a car wheel, a steel wheel. They're pouring molten steel into it and it's uh, forming in this mold. And then it will be uh, machining later. This is a uh, forging of steel. They pour molten steel into a, like, a mold. They may have a huge hydraulic hammer above it will come down and slam into this. And what it does is it puts the uh, forging in under very high stress, makes a very dense molecular structure. It's much more strong than a casting is. This is an inductive process for heat treating. These are copper coils that they run a huge amount of electricity through, which generates a huge magnetic field, and they've got a pole inside there. It looks like they're hardening the tip of the uh, pole using this inductive energy. This is the uh, paper or the thin plastic film manufacturing we saw before, where they're uh, drawing plastic sheets out and making it a certain thickness for certain applications, and these will go onto a roll. That shiny roll beneath the plastic is heated to maintain the temperature of the plastic so that it can be stretched and molded to the correct thickness as it goes through this machine. This is a paper drying machine. You will see the paper roll to the lower right corner. It's going through this process of drying across it. The left corner is a camera image of a roll where an element in the dryer has failed and you see the wet streaks in the paper which if left alone will cause mold to grow. This is a huge bakery. They're interested in monitoring the, bake, the uh, bread coming out of the ovens to make sure the uniform temperature across the uh, belt is the same so that every uh, loaf of bread is equal, properly cooked. Again, this is that tobacco drying machine where the tobacco is shredded. They're drying it to get all the uh, moisture out of it. So it's blown through the ductwork to the cigarette making machines. If the back is still wet, it will clump up and clog up their machines. This is again the car body. You can see the body with the doors open on the side there. They can monitor infrared by on the surface before they paint to make sure that it's right temperature before they spray the paint on it. And then afterwards as it goes through the oven as it does a bake. This is a centering plant. Uh, centering plants, they take uh, granular metals, and compress it under very high temperatures and pressures into a solid object without liquefying the 
uh, the process itself. It's, uh, they use it in a lot of car parts and engines. It's uh, very strong, although not as strong as one that's machined from a, a liquefied metal part that's, that's finished out. This is a kiln for making cement. It rotates and it's very hot inside and that kiln is lined with fire brick. In the lower left corner is a thermal image of the kiln when it's running. You can see the hot spots in it. And if there gets to be some really hot spots along the walls, they have to shut it down and go in and reline the kiln with fire brick. Otherwise, the temperature will actually burn a hole right through that steel wall. 